Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episode 60, Their First Fight in Sha Li. Two figures swiftly traverse through a forest. They were extremely fast and even if one was to observe carefully, when one saw their figures shuttling through the dense forest, one could only see the rustling leaves and branches, while the duo had already completely disappeared into the distance. Big Brother Lin Dong, those guys are so weak, they hardly live up to their fearsome reputation. Mu Ling Shan followed beside Lin Dong as she muttered. Originally, she had expected a huge battle previously. However, she did not expect that the strength of those six people from the Blood Decapitation Guard would actually diminish tremendously after they were separate. It is just as well. Otherwise, we will end up wasting too much time. The truly capable ones are all hurrying towards a measurable mountain and no one wants to be delayed during their journey. There will naturally be a huge battle once we arrive at the foot of the measurable mountain. Lin Dong smiled and said. Moreover, our efforts in fighting with them previously did not go to waste. Didn't you realize that the number of people obstructing us has diminished? Mu Ling Shan tilted her head and mused for a moment. She realized that this was indeed the case. Along the way, some individuals, who originally had ill intent within their eyes, withdrew their emotions. When they met two groups engaging in an intense fight previously, both parties had actually halted their battle and allowed the two of them to pass through the battleground. In fact, not a single one of them dared to attack. This was clearly related to the fact that the two of them had defeated the Blood Decapitation Guard earlier. In that case, we should increase our speed. I really wish to see what powerful individuals are gathered at the foot of Immeasurable Mountain. Mu Ling Shan chuckled. Lin Dong nodded. His toes pressed on a delicate branch that was extended out from within the dense forest. After which, his body shot forward like an eagle. As they journeyed on, although the number of powerful individuals around them decreased, the strength of their auras left shock in Lin Dong's heart. However, at the same time, those experts also revealed a great fear within their eyes when they saw the Lin Dong duo. Upon establishing eye contact, they would quickly flee into the distance. Clearly, they were afraid that the Lin Dong duo would attack them. Lin Dong involuntarily laughed in his heart when he realized this. Promptly, he shook his head and ignored them, before he led Mu Ling Shan and increased their traveling speed. Swoosh! Lin Dong's body was like an agile monkey as he shuttled through the forest. He lifted his head to look afar. At their current speed, they should arrive at the foot of Immeasurable Mountain in approximately half an hour's time. Oh? Lin Dong suddenly focused his pupils as his body flashed past. Promptly, he waved his hand gently. Behind him, Mu Ling Shan hurriedly caught up and asked, What happened? Lin Dong gradually slowed down before he landed on a large tree. His eyes looked at the open plot of land in front of him. At that spot, a bloody aura radiated from it. Over a dozen corpses were on the ground, dyeing the ground into a bloody red color. They were all killed. Mu Ling Shan frowned as she stared at this scene. Everyone who entered the immeasurable mirror had a spiritual seal in their hands and they were able to escape by breaking it. Yet, these people were actually killed. Clearly, the murderer did not even give them the time to shatter their spiritual seal. His strength and technique were abnormal and vicious. Lin Dong lowered his body and landed in front of those corpses. Using his finger to touch the blood, he activated his devouring power at the same time. A trace of extremely faint black chi emerged from within their blood. It's Yimo Chi. Lin Dong remarked in a faint voice, the person who killed them is a Yimo. If I am not mistaken, this should be done by either Xu Xu or Hua Chen. These people were all quite powerful. However, none of them could put up much of a resistance before their deaths. Obviously, only a handful of people participating in this competition could accomplish a feat like this. Additionally, the Yimo was related. Hence, one could easily decipher who the perpetrator was without even thinking. They are using this path as well? Mu Ling Shan exclaimed in surprise. They should be meeting such troublesome opponents at the end. Let's go. Lin Dong lifted his head and looked afar. Both his eyes narrowed before his body hurried forward. Lin Dong once again discovered a few similar sights during his subsequent journey. Those experts were all killed before they could shatter the spiritual seal in their hands. This caused Lin Dong's eyes to turn icy. That fellow was truly ruthless. It was obvious that there was no need to kill in a place like this. Yet, he still murdered everyone he met. There is something going on in front. Be careful. Lin Dong's eyes were slightly cold as he stared deep into the forest. At that spot, he once again detected a frightening ripple. Who are you? A couple of miserable humans were gathered together on an empty space deep within the forest. 
At this moment, their eyes contained some horror as they stared at a man standing on a tree branch in front of them. The three leaders of the group were not unfamiliar faces. They were Huang Ling, Chen Xing, and Li Lin, who had a conflict with Lin Dong back at the welcoming pavilion. Moreover, the most shocking thing was that even with three powerful people, who were on the top 10 on the rookie list, gathered together, they were actually reduced into such a miserable state. Just how powerful must the person who forced them into such a miserable state be? Right now, the Huang Ling trio's eyes were staring intently at the area in front of there. There was a black clothed man standing on a tree branch. The man looked ordinary and unremarkable, while the corner of his lips had a smile. His smile however, appeared like the smile of a grim reaper in the eyes of Huang Ling's group. It caused a dense chill to rise in their hearts. Previously, the three of them could not even last for a single exchange against this person, despite joining forces. His terrifying strength left them in a state of disbelief. The rookie list of the chaotic demon sea is hardly worth mentioning. The black clothed man laughed softly. He looked at the miserable looking Huang Ling trio and laughed. You. Huang Ling was furious. He was just about to cry out angrily when he was stopped by Chen Xing beside him. This person is extremely mysterious. His strength is probably comparable to Tang Zinglian and Zhou Zi. We are no match for him. Let's leave. Huang Ling's expression changed slightly upon hearing this. His face appeared extremely unwilling. It was far too embarrassing to flee now. Oh, if you are thinking of leaving now. Perhaps you are overthinking. The black clothed man smilingly said. The expression in the eyes of the Chen Qing was altered upon hearing these words. He hurriedly opened his hand, only to discover that the spirit seal in his hand had vanished mysteriously. A strange black line remained on their hands. What have you done? Chen Qing's eyes shrunk as he cried out in a stern manner. I do not like to leave survivors behind when I do things. The black clothed man laughed. A merciless expression rose from deep within his eyes. Hence, all of you should remain here. The black clothed man grabbed forward after his voice sounded. Majestic evil black chi came sweeping over. It directly turned into a large hand, which ruthlessly swiped against the Huang Ling's group. Bang bang bang. Huang Ling's group was naturally unwilling to simply surrender. Powerful Yuan power erupted. However, their seemingly sharp and powerful martial arts vanished after striking against the huge black chi bomb. What? The shock within the eyes of Huang Ling's group deepened after they saw that their attacks were ineffective. Where did the guy in front of them come from? He was actually this mysterious? After all, they had never heard of such an individual in the chaotic demon sea. Time to die. The man with the black aura smiled. His hand flashed and appeared above the head of Huang Ling's group. However, before his palm could smash downwards, a thunder roar suddenly sounded in this forest. A lightning dragon shot into the dense forest from outside. After which, it ruthlessly collided against the huge bomb. Bang! Wild and violent air waves spread apart. Huang Ling and the rest were forced backwards. While they were in a state of confusion, two figures shuttled through the dense forest and landed in front of them. Lin Dong? Huang Ling's group looked at the two figures who had appeared in front of them. Promptly, they were completely startled. Eventually, their expressions turned complicated. They did not expect that the ones who had intervened and rescued them, would actually be Lin Dong, whom they had a conflict with. However, the current Lin Dong did not care about them. Instead, his eyes stared intently at the mysterious black clothed man in front of him. The latter clearly did not look like the faceless person, Xu Xu, who was ranked first on the rookie list. Ah, I have finally met you. The black clothed man looked at Lin Dong, who had appeared. He was slightly startled before laughing softly. Lin Dong's eyes were sharp. He looked at the black clothed man and slowly said, You are Hua Chen from Yuan Gate, am I right? Yuan Gate? Hua Chen? Huang Ling and the others were startled upon hearing his words. Promptly, they furrowed their brows. Clearly, they did not expect that this powerful individual, was actually from the distant eastern Xuan region. The black clothed man wore a smile on the corner of his mouth as he stared at Lin Dong. He shrugged his shoulder in a non-committal fashion in the face of the latter's questioning. It looks like you are quite well informed. You came here because of the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol, am I right? Lin Dong asked in a faint voice. The main objective is the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol. The black clothed man nodded. After which, he smilingly observed Lin Dong and said, however, I have another mission as well. That is to bring your corpse back. That was what the Huo Yuan trio said initially. Lin Dong parted his mouth into a grin as he looked at the black clothed man. His words appeared exceptionally dense and cold. However, in the end, they did not even have the opportunity to go home. 
The black-clothed man narrowed his eyes and spoke casually. They are merely three useless trash. Killing them is hardly an accomplishment. As to whether I can successfully bring your corpse back, that is something you are welcome to experience for yourself. The black-clothed man stared at Lin Dong. He lifted the corner of his mouth in ridicule. I intend to. A cold smile was lifted on the corner of Lin Dong's mouth. His eyes suddenly turned stern as he clenched his hand. Promptly, his lightning emperor scepter appeared. Next, his body turned into a ray of green light and shot towards Hua Chen with lightning-like speed. Ah, you are quite fast. Hua Chen looked at the green light that was rapidly magnified in his eyes. He smiled indifferently as he tilted his body in a strange fashion. Boom! The lightning emperor scepter, which contained a lightning glow, was accompanied by a ferocious wind as it flew past Hua Chen's arm. That lightning flash reduced a bunch of Hua Chen's hair into dust. However, I'm afraid that you do not pose as much of a threat towards me as you had imagined. Hua Chen curled his fingers before evil black chi erupted. Next, it transformed into a cold and black sword. Light surged from this sword and many sharp sword shadows covered the green light figure, which was hurrying over, in a storm-like fashion. Clang clang clang. Many thunderbolts appeared as he waved his lightning emperor scepter and they collided with the sword shadows. An unusually wild and violent assault wave erupted. Many hundred feet large cracks swiftly spread from under the feet of both parties like a spider web. Lightning and black she entwined together. However, the usually overpowering Yimo or did not achieve the effect that Hua Chen had expected. Instead, the lightning sparks were actually able to resist the Yimo aura. Ha! It turns out you are relying on the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol's powers within the scepter. It is likely a treasure that you obtained from within the lightning cave, am I right? An additional tinge of shock was present in Hua Chen's voice. He had detected the power of the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol hidden within the scepter. Lin Dong had an indifferent expression. He shook his hand before the lightning emperor scepter in his hand suddenly exploded. Roar! Green light flashed and a low and deep dragon roar resounded. A wild and violent lightning dragon erupted from the lightning emperor scepter. After which, it roared towards the sky. Lightning arcs danced and charged ruthlessly towards Hua Chen. Although it possess a bit of the thunderbolt ancestral symbol's powers, there is ultimately a limit to it. I'm afraid you are simply too naive if you wish to use it to deal with me. Hua Chen smiled faintly. He extended his hand and directly grabbed that huge lightning dragon. Sizzle sizzle. Five majestic black light whistled out from Hua Chen like enormous pythons before surrounding the lightning dragon that was pouncing towards him. Shatter. Hua Chen's eyes turned cold as he suddenly clenched his hand. Bang. The five rays of black light shrunk violently like a chain and a miserable roar was emitted from the lightning dragon. Many cracks spread on its large body. Next, with a loud bang, it exploded. Lin Dong held the Lightning Emperor Scepter. His toes pressed on the ground as he hurriedly withdrew. Hua Chen's strength was truly terrifying. Even after excluding the possibility that he was in Yimo, he had definitely reached the advanced profound death stage. The Hui Yuan trio were truly inferior to him. Lin Dong, be careful. Huang Ling's group warned after seeing that Lin Dong was forced back. It was obvious that this person called Hua Chen was even more vicious compared to Lin Dong. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He could sense just how troublesome Hua Chen was. It was no easy task to deal with such an opponent. If I finish you off here, I will be able to focus on the fight for the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol. Hua Chen smiled. Promptly, he quickly clenched his hand before Black Chi gushed out from his palm like liquid. It subsequently agglomerated together and transformed into a black long spear. I'm afraid that you lack the ability to do so. Lin Dong chuckled. He held the Lightning Emperor Scepter tightly in his hand. Lightning flashed crazily on top of the scepter while Yuan power came surging out like flood water from within his body. Is that so? The ridicule on the corner of Hua Chen's mouth turned even sharper. A cold glint flashed in his eyes. In the next moment, his body suddenly shot forward. Dark and chilly bone-piercing murderous intent spread. Lin Dong looked at Hua Chen, who was no longer concealing his intent to kill, before a cold chuckle sounded in his heart. Green light surged over the surface of his body as several dragon light tattoos begun to emerge. Boom! Just as Lin Dong was preparing to engage in an all-out fight with him, his heart suddenly shuddered. Promptly, he violently raised his head, only to see a bright red flash containing a frightening hot ripple sweeping over. Following the arrival of that crimson figure, was a familiar lovely cry. Lackey of the Yuan Gate. You can't just act as you please in my flame divine hall's territory. A lovely cry was transmitted. 
one could see that majestic crimson energy suddenly transforming into a violent fire phoenix. After which, it ruthlessly smashed against Hua Chen together with a shocking ripple. Humphrey. This sudden sharp attack caused Hua Chen's eyes to sink. Immediately, he released a cold snort. Slamming his black spear heavily against the ground, a monstrous black light swept forth. It was just like a glowing pillar as it collided violently with the fire phoenix. Bang! Frightening energy ripples spread apart. The surrounding huge trees were turned into dust due to the impact. In fact, Huang Ying and the rest were all forced to retreat in a miserable fashion. Fierce and uncontrolled energy scattered all over the sky. A delicate figure pressed her toes on the empty space. After which, she stood in the sky. Her fiery red hair danced like flames while the fire phoenix spear in her hand brandished a cold glow. It trembled as it pointed towards Hua Chen, who was standing on the ground. Who else other than Tang Zinlian would appear in such a spectacular fashion? Hey, looks like you are very unlucky. If I had not hurried over, won't you be in deep shit? Tang Zinlian stood in the sky. Her pretty eyes looked at Lin Dong, who was holding the Lightning Emperor Scepter in his hand, before she laughed. There is no need to look down on me. Lin Dong helplessly said. Tang Zinlian curled her mouth into a smile. Her pretty eyes turned towards Hua Chen. Her eyes were icy cold as she said, Initially, I plan to fight with you after I arrived at a measurable mountain. It looks like our fight will have to be brought forward. Ha, Fire Fairy, Tang Zinlian from the Flame Divine Hall, ha. Huh? You are indeed as domineering as the rumors state. Hua Chen lifted his head and looked at Tang Zinlian. He smiled faintly. Tang Zinlian is indeed powerful enough for him to raise his guard. Since there are so many people here, let's forget about it. We will have the opportunity to fight at a measurable mountain. Hu Chen glanced at Lin Dong. He laughed, I heard that back in the eastern Xuan region, you enjoy on counting on women for help. Now that I have witnessed it, it seems like you are indeed quite good with the ladies. Although his words was accompanied by laughter, the ridicule within was blindingly obvious. However, Lin Dong did not reveal the slightest fury in the face of his ridicule. He merely laughed softly, stared at Hua Chen and spoke seriously, I will kill you. Hua Chen shrugged his shoulders, I will wait for you. Hopefully, you have the qualifications to ascend a measurable mountain. His body moved after his words sounded. After which, he turned into a ray of black light and shot into the forest, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Given your intellect, surely you won't fall for such shallow provocations, will you? Tang Zinlian landed. She glanced at Lin Dong and spoke in a faint voice. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes. He looked at the spot where Hua Chen had disappeared before laughing softly and shaking his head. I am not angry. It's just that. I was looked down upon. Nonetheless, it's fine. It will be corrected. Tang Zinlian tilted her head slightly to the side, revealing her exquisite and beautiful sharp chin. Soon after, she looked towards Lin Dong whose eyes were slightly narrowed as he stared in the direction that Hua Chen had disappeared in. She said, although you have a deep enmity with him, his first opponent will be me. I will not hand him over to you. Lin Dong withdrew his gaze and looked at Tang Zinlian. I am not looking down on you. If you think that my words have hurt your pride, all I can do is apologize. Tang Zinlian's bright eyes did not avoid Lin Dong as she spoke in an earnest manner, that Hua Chen is no saint, moreover, there will no friendly sparring during this competition but true life or death battles. Moreover, Master has said that we definitely cannot allow Hua Chen and Xu Xu to obtain the Thunderbolt Ancestral Symbol. Hence, I will do everything I can to stop them. Tang Zinlian was aware that Lin Dong was quite strong. Although the latter was only at the perfect profound life stage, he was able to kill an initial profound death stage expert. However, Hua Chen and Xu Xu had both long since stepped into the advanced profound death stage. Moreover, both of them were mysterious and unfathomable. They possessed numerous techniques and it would not be easy to deal them. Go ahead if you wish to fight first. Lin Dong smiled faintly. He did not argue with Tang Zinlian at such a time. He had no intention to obtain any glory. All he wished for, was to complete Mo Luo's instructions and retrieve the Thunderbolt essence that originally belonged to him. If Tang Zinlian or Dozi were able to finish off Hua Chen and Xu Xu in this competition, it would save Lin Dong the trouble of doing so. Tang Zinlian stared at Lin Dong for a moment before a smile blossomed on her face. She glanced at Wang Ling's group behind them and said, Let's go, Immeasurable Mountain is only a short distance away. Tang Zinlian did not delay any longer after her voice sounded. Her beautiful hair was swung as her enchanting body turned into a ray of red light that shot forth. Lin Dong led Mu Ling Shan and followed closely behind. They did not meet any obstructions along the way. 
Within a short 10 minutes, Lindong could sense that the dense forest had started to withdraw as his view swiftly widened. Soon after, a towering mountain that pierced through the clouds and stood like a pillar that supported the sky entered his eyes. So this is a measurable mountain huh? Lindong's toes landed on a thick branch. He quickly raised his head and looked at the seemingly endless majestic mountain before him. Thick clouds lingered at the midsection of the mountain, causing one to be unable to clearly see its peak. However, through the thunderbolt ancestral symbol within his body, Lindong was still able to detect a familiar power beckoning him from the peak of the mountain. It was the thunderbolt essence extracted from the thunderbolt ancestral symbol. At this moment, the foot of the mountain was already filled with people. Their eyes were full of excitement as they fixed their eyes upon this towering mountain. This was the final battleground. The appearance of Lin Dong's group immediately attracted several pairs of eyes. Of course, most of them paused on Tang Zinlian at the front. Fear and awe filled their eyes. Ha ha, you are rather late. A soft laughter was transmitted over. Subsequently, a figure rushed over from nearby. It was the little myriad King Zhou Zi. We met Hua Chen along the way and briefly exchanged blows. Tang Zinlian explained. Oh? Zhou Zi's eyes hardened. How is he? Very strong. A grave expression flashed across Tang Zinlian's face. She was clearly aware of just how powerful her attack was. However, it was easily dispelled by Hu Hua Chen. Evidently, this person from the Eastern Chuen region's Yuan Gate was quite powerful. Zhou Tzu nodded slightly. Someone whom could be described as very strong by Tang Zinlian was likely extremely powerful. There are many strong individuals here. Lin Dong looked towards this area at the foot of the mountain as surprise flashed across his eyes. He could sense many strong presences in this place. Those who can arrive in this place without being eliminated all possess some skills. Although the rookie list does have its weight, it is unable to fully take into account all the young and powerful individuals in the chaotic demon sea. Some of these dark horses cannot be estimated. Zhou Zi said. Lin Dong nodded. He was about to speak when he felt cold aura emerge from within Mu Ling Shan's body. Startled, he turned his head, only to find that this little girl was staring at certain spot in the distance with an exceptionally ugly expression. Lin Dong followed her line sight, only to see two figures standing on a hill. One of them was well built and completely exposed both of his arms. His face had a thick and manly pair eyebrows but had a rather evil look. A glowing symbol was present on his brow which had the appearance of a ferocious blood shark. Beside the man with exposed arms was a delicate and petite young lady. She was rather pretty but there was a haughtiness that could not be hidden on her face. The auras of this duo were quite powerful. This was especially the case for the man with the evil look. Even if his strength had not reached the advanced profound death stage, it was likely extremely close. The two of them had also detected Lin Dong's gaze and quickly looked over. That their arm man glanced at Lin Dong before turning towards Mu Ling Shan by his side. Soon after, his mouth parted into a grin that was filled with a sinisterly evil aura. The young lady, on the other hand, curled her mouth and had a look of disdain. Who are they? Lin Dong slightly frowned and asked. Two bastards from the blood demon shark clan. Mu Ling Shan gnashed her teeth. Her tone was filled with fury. Clearly, she had a grudge with those two. So they are members of the Blood Demon Shark Clan. Lin Dong suddenly understood. This clan had quite a deep enmity with the Immortal Sage Whale Clan, and it was likely that Mu Lin Shan had even met them in the past. From the looks of it, they were definitely not friend. That man is called Sha Li while that woman is called Sha Ling. They are direct disciples of the Blood Demon Shark Clan and are also quite well known amongst the younger generation of the Blood Demon Shark Clan. Dang Zinlian also turned her attention to the two in the distance and spoke. Lin Dong nodded. He could see quite a rich enmity from the eyes of those two. This kind of ill intent was likely directed at Mu Ling Shan. Lin Dong gently rubbed Mu Ling Shan's tiny head with his hand and smiled at her. Although that ill intent did not target him, Lin Dong would definitely not idly stand by the side and watch if those two planned to do anything to Mu Ling Shan. Um. Mu Ling Shan nodded. Her large eyes glared viciously at the young lady as the corners of her mouth curled downwards, causing her to appear to be full of disdain. Little girl, you are asking to die. The young lady's small face became icy when she saw this. Her small hand clenched and blood light surged. It directly turned into a blood arrow that shot towards Mu Ling Shan at lightning speed. Lin Dong's face became cold when he saw the viciousness of this young lady. He waved his sleeve and wind swept forth. It altered the direction of the blood arrow before the it shot back at the young lady in an even more ruthless manner. Bang! The bare arm man grabbed with his hand when the blood arrow appeared in front of the young lady, forcefully dispersing the force. Next, he lifted his head and stared at Lin Dong with a sinister expression. You wish to die? 
Both of you are after all members of the Blood Demon Shark Clan. How can you be so ill-mannered? Lin Dong replied with a cold voice. The small face of the young lady had turned green from anger upon hearing this. At the same time, murderous intent gushed in the eyes of the bare-armed man while blood light surged on the surface of his body. The surrounding experts were startled by the sudden clash between the two parties. However, they did not speak. Both sides were not ordinary and it would be good if they ended up fighting each other. The ten peaks of Immeasurable Mountain are about to open. Take the mountain seal first before settling other matters. Tang Xinlian softly said. Understood. Lin Dong slightly nodded. Light suddenly poured down from the majestic huge mountain not long after Tang Xinlian's voice sounded. After which, the clouds shook as ten large peaks appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Light flickered on those peaks and it was possible to vaguely see a light seal. An uproar broke out at the foot of the mountain as the eyes of many turned red with excitement. Lin Dong, one peak per person. Whether anyone will be able to obtain a mountain seal will depend on your own ability. Tang Xinlian stared at the light seals on the peaks and said. Aye. Let's go. Tang Xilian softly shouted as her body took the lead and charged forward. It directly shot towards one of the peaks. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Many experts at the foot of the foot of the mountain also swept forth after Tang Xinlian moved. Immediately, rushing wind sounds appeared in a hurried fashion. Ling Shan, why don't you choose a peak too? Lin Dong looked towards Mu Ling Shan and said. Um. Mu Ling Shan excitedly nodded. After which, she hugged the life death coffin cover and charged towards a peak. Lin Dong grinned upon seeing this. He also chose a peak and headed straight for it. Brother Sha Li, I will go and tear off that little girl's mouth. Sha Ling's face was frosty as she looked at Mu Ling Shan, who had charged towards a peak, and said. Leave that fellow to me. I will make him pay the price for the words that he has said. The bare arm man spoke in a eerie manner. Both of them exchanged a glance after they spoke. After which, they swiftly separated and rushed towards two peaks. Many experts swarmed upwards from the foot of the mountain, shattering the silence of immeasurable mountain. The final battle had finally arrived at this final battleground. Swish. Lin Dong's body flashed past at lightning speed, turning a flash of green light as it followed a mountain path and directly rushed towards the peak. Immeasurable mountain had ten peaks. Every peak had three paths to the mountaintop. An intense battle was unavoidable if one wished to reach the peak through one of these three paths. Lin Dong dashed through the densely packed branches and leaves on the path up the mountain, like an agile monkey. Soon after, he lifted his head and saw several figures with powerful auras nearby. This group of experts who were rushing up the mountain also detected Lin Dong, who was rapidly approaching from behind. Chi Chi! Green light flashed within Lin Dong's eyes. He clenched his hand and the lightning emperor scepter appeared. A lightning glow danced crazily as numerous bolts of lightning spread. Boom! Astonishing thunder resounded on the mountain path. Lightning flashed and a thin figure barbarically charged through the many obstructions in front of him. The entire place turned into a mess wherever his body passed. Lin Dong pushed the Yuan power within his body to the limit. He understood that he must use his fastest speed to reach the peak in order to obtain the mountain seal and receive one of the ten places to contend for the thunderbolt ancestral symbol. This mountain path had undoubtedly become quite chaotic in the face of Lin Dong's barbaric manner. In the end, many experts actually attacked together but they were still unable to block this wild beast like Lin Dong. A green ray of light dashed towards the peak at a shocking speed amidst loud rumbling noises. Ch, this bastard. He is just like a wild beast. Damn it, I have not even attacked, yet I end up suffering a kick from him. My face suffered a strike from him and even my nose has collapsed. Damn it, why don't we kill him together? This fellow is likely the strongest on this mountain path right? How unlucky. We are actually on this path with him. That is not necessarily true. Wasn't there another bastard who charged past earlier? These two bastards. That Chin Yuan? Ha, I wonder just who is stronger when these two barbaric beasts clash? That green light shot forward as curses flew from behind. However, many people had helplessly given up at this moment. With Lin Dong present, they would likely be unable to reach the peak. Swoosh. Lin Dong completely ignored the curses from behind as his body flashed past with lightning speed. A long while later, he lifted his head to look at the peak, which was growing increasingly close as excitement rose in his eyes. He knew that there would similarly be other experts who had also taken the lead on the two other paths. Well, Only I can take this mountain path. While these thoughts flashed in Lin Dong's mind, a thunderous roar was suddenly heard. Subsequently, a huge figure charged forward as a wave of powerful force blasted Lin Dong. Bang! 
Even before the force made contact with Lin Dong, the ground below crumbled as numerous cracks swiftly spread. Humphrey. This suddenly domineering attack caused a cold light to appear within Lin Dong's eyes. He tightly grasped the Lightning Emperor Scepter but did not dodge. The scepter was swung and it powerfully clashed against the domineering force. Dong. A deafening sound echoed as wind swept outwards like a storm, flattening the dense forest below. Lin Dong's shoulders jerked as devouring power surged within his body and quickly eliminated the force that had invaded his body. Next, he lifted his head, only to find the strong figure being pushed back. Finally, a foot stamped on a boulder which was turned into dust in an instant. What great strength! The sturdy figure stabilized his body as his expression changed. At this moment, Lin Dong was finally able to see that the person who had arrived had a bare upper body. His muscles seemed to pile up like swelling metal while power rippled under his skin. He wielded a metal hammer that was dozens of feet in size. This image was extremely stimulating to the eye. Sixth on the rookie list, Giant Spirit Hammer Chin Yuan? Lin Dong's eyes slightly narrowed as he gazed at the large metal tower-like man. He had recognized this person in a glance. No wonder this person had such ferocious strength. The latter was definitely not an ordinary individual. Are you that Lin Dong? The huge metal tower-like man looked at Lin Dong as his expression slightly altered. Clearly, this person had also heard of Lin Dong. Friend, is it possible for you to give way? Lin Dong asked in a deep voice. He did not have the time to deal with this person. He he, won't I lose my chance if I let you pass? Qin Yuan's mouth parted as he chuckled. He swung the massive metal hammer in his hand. You should ask this metal hammer of mine if you wish to pass. Don't think I do not dare to touch you just because that little Miss Dang Zinlian is backing you. In that case, I will have to be a little impolite. A smile surfaced from the corners of Lin Dong's mouth as he slowly increased the strength of his grip on the Lightning Emperor Scepter. Try me. Qin Yuan's voice was as loud as a bell as the metal hammer in his hands danced. Even the air itself exploded because of the swinging hammer. Bright green light frantically swept out from within Lin Dong's body. Many green dragon light tattoos rapidly rose along with a dragon roar. 1. 5. 10. 20. 30. A total of 30 green dragon light tattoos lingered around Lin Dong's body as a deep dragon roar spread. Even the air itself trembled at this moment, while a terrifying energy ripple slowly scattered. Qin Yuan looked at the 30 green dragon light tattoos around Lin Dong's body. His expression had finally become grave. Only at this moment did he understand that this Lin Dong did indeed possess a rather powerful strength that backed the swift rise of his reputation within the chaotic demon sea. I will finish you off in a single strike. A green dragon was entrenched deep within Lin Dong's eyes. He heartily laughed at the sky as his heroic spirit dashed into the clouds while his body, which was accompanied by 30 green dragon light tattoos, swiftly shot towards Qin Yuan. I shall see whether you have the ability to do so. Qin Yuan laughed in anger. Majestic Yuan power was unleashed to its limit at this moment, before he took a step forward. Raising the metal hammer with both hands, it came crashing down furiously like a god. Giant Spirit Sky Hammer. A thousand feet large light hammer violently struck. After which, it was accompanied by a horrifying strength as it blasted the sky. In the end, it ruthlessly clashed with Lin Dong, who was charging forward, under several shocked gazes. Roar. A dragon roar and a loud sound spread in a deafening fashion. Everyone could feel this mountain shake violently as the two forces collided while many huge cracks spread rapidly like a spider web. Behind them, many pairs of eyes were focused on the point of collision where green light suddenly shot towards the sky. Soon after, they were stunned to see that the thousand feet large light hammer was actually blown away. Crack. The light hammer finally exploded and the black metal hammer powerlessly flew backwards. It smashed heavily onto the ground, causing the land to shake. Krug. Qin Yuan's body seemed to have suffered a heavy blow. A mouthful of blood was spat out as he shot backwards in a miserable fashion, causing a deep pit to be formed on the ground. Thank you for giving me this victory. Green light flickered in the sky as Lin Dong flashed and appeared while holding the Lightning Emperor Scepter. He looked at the miserable Qin Yuan below and smiled faintly. Without further ado, his body moved and he charged towards the peak, leaving behind a series of gasps. Who could imagine that the sixth on the rookie list would actually be defeated by Lin Dong in a single move? Is this his true strength? Several people faced each other. They could see shocked expressions in the other party's eyes. The only ones on the rookie list who could do this were likely only those top three ferocious people. However, it seemed that another one of them had appeared. Lin Dong did not have the time to bother about those shocked gazes behind him. He raised his speed to the limit. Finally, 
his toes pressed against the ground as he soared upwards, shooting towards the mountain peak. Bang! However, just as Lin Dong was about to reach the peak, a low and muffled sound was transmitted into his ear. A miserable figure shot towards him from nearby. In the end, it smeared across the ground, forming a deep scar, before it stopped in front of Lin Dong. Cough. That miserable figure violently coughed, spitting out fresh blood. His appearance was exceptionally miserable. Ching Tang? Lin Dong gazed at this miserable figure and was startled. Soon after, a solemn expression rose in his eyes. This was because this person was the rookie list's fourth ranked Ching Tang. Just which powerful individual was actually able to injure Ching Tang to such an extent? Lin Dong lifted his head and looked towards another path that led to the peak. Subsequently, his eyes focused on a bare arm person whose body was wrapped in a blood red light. There was a thickly evil aura in his eyes. This person was actually Sha Li from the Blood Demon Shark Clan. Ha! To think that you were able to come to this place. It seems that you do have some ability. When Sha Li saw Lin Dong, he was initially startled before his mouth quickly parted into a smile. The smile was extremely sinister. However, your journey stops here. A blood light undulated on Sha Li's body and it was filled with a rich and bloody scent. At the moment, with a wicked smile on his face, he was staring at Lin Dong, who had just ascended to the peak. Meanwhile, the red glow in his eyes were filled with brutality. Towards someone who dared to attack them previously, he clearly possessed murderous intent towards him. Lin Dong also frowned slightly when he saw Sha Li, whose body was wrapped with a blood glow. He did not expect that this person would actually choose this peak as well. Moreover, even Ching Tang was defeated by him. Lin Dong was aware of how powerful Ching Tang was. Additionally, the latter was extremely quick. Based on Lin Dong's estimates, Ching Tang would definitely be able to obtain one of the 10 positions, if no accidents occurred. However, Ching Tang's journey to the peak came to an end because of Sha Li's presence. The fact that he could defeat Ching Tang proved how powerful Sha Li was. A member of the Blood Demon Shark Clan, he indeed lived up to his reputation. Are you alright? Lin Dong lowered his head and asked Ching Tang. Cough. Ching Tang forcefully picked himself up from the ground. Wiping off the trace of blood on the corner of his lips, he looked at Lin Dong, who had hurried over. His expression was a little complicated as he shook his head and said, there is something wrong with this fellow. Originally, we were quite evenly matched. However, his strength suddenly soared. Ignorant fool. This is my blood demon shark clan secret technique. It vaporizes the blood in my body to boost my strength. Although there are some long-term effects, it will be fine as long as I kill the both of you and absorb the essence blood in your bodies. Sha Li parted his mouth into a smile. His teeth gritted together and emitted a frightening cold glint. Sha Li twisted his neck. His bones emitted a clear cracking sound as he extended his finger and curled it towards Lin Dong. Little fellow, didn't you act in a very arrogant fashion previously? Why don't you come and give it a try now? His head turned towards another peak after his words sounded. He left in a strange fashion. It is likely that Sha Lang has also clashed with that little girl from the Immortal Sage Whale Clan by now. He he, that little girl should wound up in a rather miserable state. A sharp cold glint flashed across Lin Dong's narrowed eyes after he heard this. He spoke softly, you'll be disappointed by the results. The young lady called Sha Ling was indeed quite powerful. In fact, it was likely that she possessed the qualifications to enter the top 10 of the rookie list. However, Mu Ling Shan was not some soft persimmon either and even Lin Dong was unable to fully decipher the secrets within that little girl. Therefore, he did not believe that Sha Lang could easily defeat Mu Ling Shan in a real fight. Is that so? Sha Li curled his mouth in disdain. He waved his hand and said, forget it, let's not talk about them. I want to claim your puny little life first. If that little girl managed to survive, I will throw your corpse at her. It is likely that her expression will be quite pleasant to look at. Brother Ching Tang, why don't you hand this opponent over to me? Lin Dong softly said to Ching Tang. I have already lost. Naturally, you will have to do the fighting. Be careful. Ching Tang nodded with a bitter smile. A ferocious expression flashed across his eyes as he spoke in a dense voice, cripple this bastard. That is my plan. Lin Dong smiled at Ching Tang. His hand slowly tightened the grip on his Lightning Emperor Scepter. Lightning light came pouring down a little at a time as a sizzling sound buzzed continuously. Two homeless strays. None of you shall escape. Sha Li laughed in a dense manner. Red light suddenly surged within his eyes. He clenched his hand and it was possible to see a red-colored scale appeared on the surface of his body. Both his hands were curled before they transformed into two ferocious blood bone blades. 
A cold light flowed over his bone blades and the space itself seemed to stir slightly. Swoosh. Shali was currently like a monster covered in scales. His scarlet eyes stared straight at Lin Dong. Suddenly, after releasing a strange laughter, his body flashed before a red beam cut through the air and shot straight towards Lin Dong. Swish swish. Blood red blade lights directly tore through the air at this moment. It pierced towards Lin Dong's throat with an indescribable speed. Lightning glow surged on the Lightning Emperor Scepter. It quickly transformed into countless shadows that shot forward and ruthlessly struck precisely onto the point where the two blade glows intersected. Clang. Metallic sound appeared before wild and violent gusts swept forward. The huge stones on the surrounding ground were struck by it and exploded into dust. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Wild gales swept forth before a bloody light figure appeared behind Lin Dong in an instant. Shark D Thrip. Blood light sputtered forth like a thunderstorm. Every ray of blood light transformed into an extremely sharp shark tooth that was filled with a shocking sharpness. In fact, it was so sharp that even an advanced profound life stage expert had difficulty guarding against it. Shali was no kind-hearted individual and his attacks were merciless. Clearly, he was intending to kill them. Lightning Barrier. Lin Dong's eyes sunk as he detected the shocking sharp wind from behind. Suddenly, he slammed the Lightning Emperor Scepter in his hand heavily onto the ground. Soon after, bright lightning spread crazily before they transformed into a lightning barrier that protected him. Bang bang bang. The blood light ruthlessly smashed against the lightning barrier and a shocking thunder spread. Although such an attack caused countless ripples to appear on the lightning barrier, it was ultimately unable to break the barrier. Evidently, Lin Dong's offense and defense grew closer to perfection after he obtained the Lightning Emperor Scepter. Ripples spread across the lightning barrier. At a certain moment, a cold glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. The Lightning Emperor Scepter in his hand suddenly shot forward. It was like a lightning that tore through the night sky as it penetrated the lightning barrier and the countless bloody light attacks. Finally, it struck heavily against the phantom-like figure behind. Boom! A muffled thunder spread and the figure trembled intensely. The attacks in the sky disappeared as a figure took a couple of steps back. There was a lightning occasionally flashing over the body covered in blood light. A decent offense and defense. Shali smiled ferociously. He rubbed his chest, which had been struck by Lin Dong's Lightning Emperor Scepter. That spot had turned charred back. However, after he wiped that spot with his hand, the charred spot disappeared. Instead, the blood-colored scales under it, were emitting a firm and indestructible aura. Even though your scepter is quite powerful, it is unable to break my demon shark scale skin. Lin Dong's eyes narrowed as he looked at the strange layer of scale on Sha Li's body. A blood-red light continuously flickered mysteriously. At the moment of contact previously, Lin Dong could clearly sense that the enormous strength transferred onto Sha Li's body had been scattered and broken down by the layer of scale skin. That object was quite mysterious indeed. Lin Dong, that Sha Li's scale skin is a secret technique of the blood demon shark clan. It is not a martial arts. Instead, it is formed from hundreds of millions of blood demon shark ants. Those ants are able to devour various kinds of energy and it is extremely difficult to break through. Ching Tang behind cried out. Previously, he had suffered tremendously because of this. That scale skin is actually a living creature? Lin Dong was secretly startled. No wonder he felt that this scale skin was exceptionally strange. It was actually made by gathering those so-called blood demon shark ants together. Your attacks are useless against me. However, my attacks can claim your puny lives. Shali laughed towards the sky. His body once again shot out before a sharp attack was unleashed, surrounding Lin Dong in the process. How can mediocre humans like you compare with members of my blood demon shark clan? Lin Dong's eyes were indifferent. He ignored Shali's arrogant laughter as he also rushed forward and dodged Shali's attack. The lightning emperor scepter in his hand drew a strange arc and once again smashed towards Shali. Like I said, you are unable to hurt me as long as I have my demon shark scale skin. Shali mocked upon seeing this. The force behind the scepter in Lin Dong's hand did not diminish. A cold smile was lifted on his face just as his scepter was about to strike onto Shali's body, in that case, all I need to do is to break your shark skin. With your strength? Shali ridiculed. Lin Dong's eyes were icy cold. A thought passed through his mind. One could see a strange palm-sized light formation suddenly appearing on the tip of the Lightning Emperor Scepter. The formation rotated before a strange force suddenly erupted. Chi Chi. A mysterious ray of light shot out from the light formation and struck against Sha Li's chest. After the light ray reached its target, one could see the demon shark scale skin on Sha Li's body emitting a miserable screech. Under the illumination from that ray of light, 
a fist-sized hole actually appeared on that tough and seemingly indestructible scale skin. In fact, it looked as though the scale skin was disintegrating. Without your scales, what are you? Lin Dong stared at a Sha Li, whose expression was drastically changing before he parted his lips and smiled. Promptly, with a jerk of his arm, green dragon light symbols emerged. Following which, together with a wild and violent force, the lightning emperor scepter in his hands ruthlessly struck on the hole, that was eroded on the demon shark scale skin. Bang! A deafening low sound reverberated across the mountaintop. Shali's body flew backwards. After which, he spat out a mouthful of blood and landed heavily onto the ground. His body left a hundred meter long deep ditch on the ground before it was implanted between a huge rock. His appearance was exceptionally tragic, 